Welcome back to the channel. This is Peter Overstein here at Meshman Studio. It's the 22.1 update here from Renaman. So the main feature to look out for is Renaman 22 is now free non-commercial and that's really good because then you can follow along here in my course here. So yeah, some of the new features here is for example here we have a the denoiser. We can have a AI. Uh, it's the um, NVIDIA AI denoiser to it. So it's gonna clean up uh, the rendering pretty fast. Some other features. So let's jump into it now and see some of the stuff that's new here. So first off here we can, um, if you hit this R button here, it's gonna start the viewport rendering and as you see it renders the whole screen. So this can be um, expensive if you have a large monitor. So we have this uh, this one, the crop here. So you can can draw here a, a region and now it's gonna just render within this region. So that's gonna considerably speed up like your workflow here. Okay, so we have defined our region here and we can now also easily switch the integrator over to the visualizer. So let's try that. And we can see here now we have uh, the faster visualizer. And I guess that's good if you want to set, uh, tweak the depth of field like I did here. The visualizer you're going to see faster turnaround. You see it's, it's really fast. However, I, I'm not sure if you can switch it back. I, I couldn't do that. I'm not sure if it's something here. But uh, otherwise you can go to the random man and take the path racer back there. I'm not sure if it's something here in my that has a get a funk error here maybe it's meant to be like that i don't know um anyway i can switch it over looking at some new exciting features as well is the new denoiser and that's a a uh, nvidia denoiser and here we have some information so we need a kepler card here and i have that uh, i have a 1090 ti so that's a few generations of the kepler so, and we also need the 391.89 driver. So I have loaded the latest driver and um, let's jump into Maya here. First off, to enable it, go to AOV and under beauty, see that you have denoise enabled here under AOVs. So it's gonna denoise the beauty. Let's, let's fire up an IPR here in it and see what happens. And here we see uh, without denoising. So, what we can do here, if I go here to view, we see here the denoise image. So the shortcut is N. So you see here, it cleans up the image quite considerably here when I do that. Uh, one uh, thing here, if you want to look at, uh, if you have AOVs, for example, I think ID is default. If you have it on, the denoising is going to look very funky. You have to remove the denoiser temporarily if you're going to look at AOVs. But yeah, you see here, uh, it's, uh, let's uh, move the image. Let's take something, a new image somewhere. Let's take this frame. You see, it's uh, pretty, pretty nice to have a, uh, like a denoised image pretty quick. So you can uh, judge what's happening. So yeah, that's uh, denoising uh, and uh, I'm really excited about that. So, uh, that's a, a nice feature. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here at uh, the solo. So it's not Han Solo, but it's it's soling of nodes here. So so let's say I want to work with this one here, um, this region here. Let's say I want to add a noise here, and I, I want to visualize the noise before I even saw Whirly or something. Let's say that. Um, I want to add it to the specular roughness here. Roughness, there you go. So you see here, but I, I want to see how it actually looks isolated. So let's hit the S button here on the solo and uh, let's see what happens. Here we see. So now it switch um, this shader over to this uh, like constant. So this is something I, when I do stuff uh, in uh, texturing, for example, when I do a roughness map, I, I want to see it uh, in its flat form rather than shaded. So let's let's start here with frequency, maybe say 15 to get something that's more fine tuned here. Yeah, let's take off solo here and see how it looks when it's applied onto the shader. So now we see here the breakup. 
So we might now maybe want to start to level stuff here. You can see here quickly what's causing uh, those black dots here by temporarily switching it over to to that. So you, you have to raise the, the value of that somehow. Remap, for example, and uh, take this into RGB there. That one to the float, so we have something to play with here. Uh, switch this off, go to this one instead and start to now uh, gonna raise the black point of this so it's gonna be the the mean value when I raise that to for example to get something that's more uniform and uh, switch it up here and now we're gonna have a more of this feeling so this is something I requested on the forum I'm happy to see that they incorporated this the solo uh, and it's gonna make uh, look diving much easier at least to me because I'm, I'm I really like this workflow yeah so that's the solo and um, yeah that's a really great addition that I have looked forward to in the 22.1 so yeah let's dive into the next feature now Okay, so uh, another addition is the Pixar wireframe. So it's a pattern and um, yeah, so I hooked it up here to a constant just to visualize it. But I guess you could just hook it up to whatever. Let, let's try this one on that one and uh, let's take this and assign it to a specular roughness, for example. Um, let's see here. So I filtered to spec and let's take the red here into roughness. Now we have a, a roughness as from a wireframe, uh, whoever wants to do that, but yeah. Yeah, okay, so um, that's the Pixar wireframe pattern and that's also new. Okay, so one of the new features was as well something called light learning. So I haven't really tested something that takes advantage of this, but I guess it's on big scenes and as Renderman says here, introduce a new light selection scheme that takes advantage of machine learning to improve lighting results on scenes with many lights. So yeah, I don't have many lights in my scene, so it doesn't really make sense. And it's also deemed experimental uh, in this release. So I'm not really sure what to do with Maybe when you do Coco or uh, something like that, or uh, some scene with, uh, a ridiculous amount of lights it's a good thing to have who knows it's gonna be interesting to see in the future what that is as well so yeah that's some of the um, uh, new features here in Renaman 22.1 make sure to download the non-commercial so you can follow along with the, the coming tutorials and uh, yeah next time here is gonna be these uh, two lenses here I'm gonna take them a bit further using the pixel surface and some other techniques and it's gonna be laid shaded after that. And then I'm gonna jump into, I think, uh, doing look dev on my old uh, uh, Gatling uh, gun that's been texturing using node graph in Mari. So that's gonna be a look dev tutorial and other random and related tutorial and shading tutorials. And yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And uh, yeah, see you on the channel. Bye-bye.